Hey, and welcome to Inspector Josh Investigates TV. I'm Josh Paulson, an indie who loves to reverse engineer TV shows to draw story writing lessons from them. Today we'll be looking at the web series Home Star Runner, specifically that little short called Donut Unto Others. Warning, spoilers for the short are ahead. Today we'll be talking about intrinsically humorous characters. Homestar Runner is filled with very bizarre, strange characters, and it is a great example to study to see what are some of the techniques that they used that we can use in our own writing. Now, it's interesting to consider intrinsically humorous characters because there are shows that have shot themselves in the foot by trying to have comedy without those really funny characters. Walt Disney struggled with his character Mickey Mouse because he realized that Mickey Mouse wasn't in and of himself that humorous, so he created Donald and Goofy and other characters to really support Mickey Mouse. So let's look at Homestar Runner. Now, there are a lot of different approaches to comedy, so I'm not going to say this is the way it's always done or this is the only way to have intrinsically humorous characters. But here are some different perspectives and tips that can help you and I want to also use in my own writing. So here we go. Intrinsically humorous characters do these four things, not necessarily all of them, but at least one of them. Number one, they see things from another perspective. In this episode, Homestar Runner talks to Marzipan and says, you know how I've always dreamed of being my own boss at at a donut factory? And Marzipan says, no, since when? Homestar Runner responds, why, just last night. What can be to one person as big and grand is to another person nothing. What can be to one person as exciting and enthusiastic can be to another person as, what are you even talking about? Uh, the Homestar Runner sees things from an extremely different perspective, a bizarre perspective to most people. And so it's humorous to us. He kind of breaks all of those social norms and expectations and brings his own into play. Another thing that humorous characters often do differently is that they will respond differently than most people. So Homestar Runner says, I dreamt that I was a French long jump champion with eight wooden legs. And Marzipan responds, and that made you want to start a donut shop? Homestar Runner responds, yes, sir. So you can see that just because something seems like it could make sense to one character doesn't mean that it actually makes sense. He responded very differently to his dream than most people would, which would be to go, oh, that was a weird dream. Instead, he goes, oh, I'm going to open up a donut shop. That makes so much sense. And also intrinsically humorous characters value things differently than other people. Now, this may seem to be similar to seeing things from a different perspective, but that's only one element. People may see different items as both having worth, but one character values it far above another character. It could be that I'm valuing something that you have differently than you do, or it could be that I'm valuing something that everybody has differently than most people do. So, for example, Homestar Runner says about it, his childhood dream. Like I said, it's a boyhood dream of mine. Could you pass me that recipe? And Marzipan responds, there's just a square of teepee that says dog nut on it. And Home Starvin responds, yeah, yeah, that's it. My secret recipe. And Home Starvin is valuing this t- piece of teepee that's useless very differently than Marzipan is. And also, these characters communicate differently from most people. Going further on ahead, Bubs is greeting Homestar angrily and says, well, hello there, Homestar. And Home Starvin responds, hey there, Donut Rush. What can I get for you? Bubs responds, it's really great to very see you, Homestar. And this ho- all of Homestar Runner, there's really such bizarre communication throughout the whole thing. Now, different people have different styles of humor, and so different people like different things. But that's a very common thread in comedy, is having characters just tweak their words just a little bit, say things a little bit off from the social norm, and then it's funny. Another note is that intrinsically humorous characters generally have these responses that are directly against their real goals. So as Homestar Runner and Bubs are trying to sell their donuts to the king of town in competition, Homestar Runner mentions, mine's homemade, and Bubs responds, mine is shipped from a third world country named homemade, so I can legally print from homemade on the prepackaged package. And then Homestar responds, I've got grit, gumption, and an adorable speech impediment. And Bubs responds, my name's Bubs, and I talk hard and fast. Homestar Runner responds, available in 57 different varieties. And Bubs responds, one flavor, over 100 different names for it. Homestar Runner mentions, Marzipan raves, hey, get out of my kitchen, you. And 
so we see that they're saying these things that should be against the real goal, but this is also combined with the other things because then you go back to where humorous characters generally respond differently than most people. And you can see that the king of town is unsure between their different sales pitches, which are both absolutely awful. Or at least, I mean, Homestar Runners is better than Bubs, but they're not that great. <laughs> and so you can see these different pieces working together in this episode. And what I read is mostly one line after another. This is pretty much a continual flow of the dialogue. And you can use these tips in your own writing. Again, you can, for intrinsically humorous characters, they generally do these four things. They could see things from another perspective, respond differently than most people, value things differently than other people, communicate differently than other people. And also they generally have responses to things that are directly against their goals. So you can use these in your own writing and you can use them in your own projects. And I hope that you have a fantastic week. And I would say that with that, case closed. Thank you for listening. We'll be back with another investigation next Monday. Sorry about the delay on this one. This one was very delayed. Um, I thought I was sick and my throat was going to give out or be awful. And I learned I just have allergies. So I'm glad to get to this now. And thank you for your patience. Have a fantastic week. And let me know what stuff you're up to at Josh Paulson on Twitter. You can also check out my website, joshpaulson.com, for more story writing tips. Take care.